Bonjour, hello, and welcome to Max Mountain World. slow down to 80. Now I'm now looking as far ahead as possible, but that's taken an awful long time for, to come up on me. I'm going to have to keep checking it. I'm going to keep checking it. And of course the journey at this speed will take a lot longer. I will be suffering from fatigue in no time at this. Now I know this for a fact. A few years ago, I used to drive minibuses in Switzerland and the company I worked for <coughs> sorry excuse me the company I worked for had two minibuses it had a 10 seater with a trailer and it had a 9 seater standard minibus now the 9 seater on the on the Swiss motorways was allowed to do 120 kph the other one, with the trailer, was only allowed to do 80. Now, with myself having the, the license for the former, uh, mo majority of my driving was done on the motorways with the minibus and the trailer. I'm still looking way, way ahead and this, it's taken a long, long time. My concentration isn't the same, which is probably quite a good thing whilst I'm talking to camera. Now. When I did that job, my biggest problem with it, and I did it for about a year and a half, my biggest worry was fatigue at the wheel. And that fatigue at the wheel 
happened more in the minibus with the trailer at 80 kph than the other minibus at 120 kph. Now dropping from 90 to 80, more or less a 10% drop. No, 11% actually, but 11.1111. But anyway, that difference takes longer to do a journey on the back roads or whatever. That difference also is not so good for the car, not so good for the engine. Car engines aren't designed to go forever at 80 kilometres an hour, that extra amount less. I had to put my car into the garage and I blame the French government for that. Now I did a video on this, the link to it will appear just up in the top right hand corner and uh, I was down this very stretch afterwards to really blow all the cobwebs off the, the engine after it had been to the garage. So it's just a little video there just to explain stuff and I think 80 is not a good speed limit on French roads. French roads on the whole are very, very good. And to be restricted to such a boring speed is dangerous. To be restricted to such a boring street, a speed for a lengthened amount of time is dangerous. I hope someone can watch this and agree with me. If Comment below. Do you agree, do you not? Now, I'm just going to boot it up. Part of the reason for this trip is to blow the cobwebs off the engine of the car again. I haven't had the car on a motorway since, probably since that last time. And, oh, just hit 130 there, as warned. And, again, my concentration's heightened now. I'm watching more stuff, I'm coming into 110 zone, I slow down, I'm checking mirrors, I'm looking as far ahead as possible, down to 110, no problem at all with keeping to speed limits, even at 110 just to drop down, it's a little bit slower, it, uh, it's not quite as boring as 80 or 90, certainly 80. I just thought I'd do a little segment on one of the national roads as opposed to one of the, the motorways. These roads, another 10 kilometres an hour faster would be a joy to drive. Instead, James, I've got a little car here. 200 metres at the roundabout, yeah. take the second exit. Yeah, when I eventually get there. Yeah, just, instead it's just trundling on, boring. This is a little car and it's barely ticking over. And also because the wagons now have the same speed as us, you get behind them, you can't do anything, you can't overtake them. Just silly, silly, silly. Meters. Turn left. I'm going to turn left when I eventually get there. Here's a typical French road, 70 limit, but they don't put any markings on the, on the road. They prefer to make the money out the speed limits. There's actually a camera further along here, if I remember rightly, although Waze hasn't discovered it, I don't know. But it's quite narrow here, but they could have the, the road marked up, lined up. Why not? Why spend money on signs instead of lines? Crazy stuff. I'm already bored with driving at 80 on these back roads let alone 30 in a, in a town. Now they imposed a 90 limit back there, but they didn't undo it. So I'm sitting at 90, what do I do? There's no roadworks, there's nothing. I can see where they've been cutting grass and whatever. Oh well, let's go for it. Back up to the speed limit on the motorway. mini rant on speed limits. So I'll call it quits at that. 
concentrate back on the driving, coming back into a 130 zone, so I can blow the engine up, <laughs> blow the cobwebs, I'm not going to blow the engine up hopefully, back up to 130, down to second gear, flooring it up, 130 and do not quite. So, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe down there, click on the alert bell for notifications of further uploads from Max Mountain World. There will be more videos. The next video, but one, well, the next two videos will explain why I'm doing this journey. Quite an interesting thing, actually. So uh, make comments below, especially on your opinions on the, the speed limit thing. Coming back into a 110 zone here, so roadwork signs, so I, I'm able to catch this stuff at a speed that keeps my concentration going, down to 90 again here. So keep to the speed limits, roadwork's coming up, concentration levels, whatever. And my concentration level now is okay because I'm, I'm alert for whatever this reduction in speed limit's all about. This is very much like British motorways. Every mile you go, there's a set of roadworks. But anyway, as I say, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, you can give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down if you want. And until the next video, ciao.